guys, Blue Blonde Wave back. I'm Eric. Rick. Shane. Eric. And we're back. We're here again. We're doing a movie. We're back. We're here again. We're, we're once, back. We're here again. Once Upon a Time, it's a fairy tale, right? Once in Upon a Time, Hollywood. In Hollywood. Why is it dot, dot, dot? Ellipses. Yeah. Why? Because well, there's a pause. Once Upon a Time. Mm -hmm. in, in Hollywood. Hollywood. Exactly. exactly. That's how you have to say it. Yep. Oh. Well, don't say it all at once. Not Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Nope. Uh, so, yeah, this is a movie reaction uh, voted on by the good folks over at patreon.com. Folks! Mm -hmm. Where uh, every week they get to choose what movie we react, we react to and what movie we commentate. Every Have you guys week. ever seen Folks? Nope. No. But I've seen some Quentin Tarantino movies I've before. I've seen you play folklore. It's folks, I Tom, Tom Selleck, we're going to put that on the poll. I love Quentin Tarantino. Uh, this is the oh. only movie of his I haven't seen, though. You've seen, uh, oh, wow. uh, what's it called, uh, this very first Jackie Brown? Yep. I've seen Jackie Brown. I've seen Jackie all Brown. of them except this one. I haven't seen Jackie Brown. What has he done? Uh, Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. I haven't seen those. Oh, those are... Pulp Fiction. Have you seen Django and Jane? I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. Oh, God. What, what's your favorite, Jen What's your favorite? What's your favorite, what's your favorite Django? Favorite? He did the screenplay. Uh, from the, from I mean, Dustin. Reservoir oh. Dogs and Pulp Fiction are way, way up there. I absolutely I love them. I also I've really love Kill Bill, both Kill Bills. I think I've seen Reservoir Dogs. Mm -hmm. Gasoline, right? The fantastic. My, my least favorite might be uh, Inglorious Bastards. Mm -hmm. I've never seen it. And that's fucking amazing. That's They're how good the movies are. Very good. Uh, I know I, this was supposed to have Tom Cruise in it, actually, early on. Because you know, he said he wanted to make maybe ten movies mm -hmm. and be done. Yeah. This is the tenth one. and That was always his thing. Ten movies and I'm done. Exactly. But there's this R-rated uh, Star Trek film script floating around, though. It's been on the back burner for a couple years now. Mm -hmm. We'll see. But we got to get into this. Uh, by the way, there are some construction workers downstairs, and if you hear some uh, weird noises and stuff, it is not our tummies. It, Goddamn laborers. That one's my tummy. That one's my tummy. He's Jake Cahill, and he lives by Bounty Law. <laughs> Bounty Law. You'll never bring him in alive, now do you, Jake? Oh, there's three of them and one of me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yay. Anybody order fried sauerkraut? Or... Holy <laughs> shit. That's your man. Found the stun back there. Yeah. That's you operating the flame so. Put the Nazis there. That's too hot. <laughs> no. It's a flamethrower. Yeah. So I came to you on the Whoa, whoa. Hey, I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Here, put these on. No. <laughs> seems, these ladies seem ripe for a good cult right now. <laughs> it does, it does <laughs> seem so. What happened to the hippies? <laughs> They stopped in the driveway like that. Holy shit. That was Polanski. That was Roman, Roman. Polanski. He's easy. He's been there for a month. Huh. Yeah, Roman Polanski had to flee the country because he pled guilty to uh, statutory rape. Oh, damn. So he's like one of the most famous directors, but he had to leave the country. Huh. Van Nuys Drive-In Theater. I don't think I've ever been to a drive-in. I've been, I saw Ace Ventura, Pet Detective in a driving theater. I fell asleep. I set up the back of the truck so we could pull in and lay like in like a, like a blow up mattress in the back of my truck. We got to the driving theater, they were filled. Ah, oh, so went to the woods and had sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blow up mattress. That was your ultimate goal anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you had to pay any money. He didn't have to pay for the movie. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Was it nice woods? Yeah, it was okay. Good. Oh, oh what a great sound. I don't want that. I just had that bone. Is that a wine? I'll tell you about wine. You wine, you don't eat. I will throw this shit in the trash. I don't want to, but I will. Understand? Hey, where's that chili pepper dot of yours? Fiddle. That's my favorite. This shooter's gone, man. Little wee apples. And one of these days, that Polish prick's gonna fuck things up, and when he does, Jay's gonna be there. I mean, long game. I can respect the long, long game. game. The long game, baby. You want to look like a hippie? Well, less hippie, more hell's angel. <laughs> I don't want them to see Jay Cahill. I want them to see Caleb. I hired you to be an actor, Rick. Not a TV cowboy. Better than that. 
I don't think it's a bad way to go about it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, play the role. Yeah. You can show that you're more than being Jake Cahill. Whoa! It's Jesus! Stunning. stunning. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! I didn't know they invented parkour yet. It was good for mac and cheese. It's a ripped fifty-six-year-old man. Man, he's fifty-six. I think he looked that good at now. <laughs> Eat more mac and cheese. <laughs> hey. Hey, Randy. Oh. oh. You can do anything you want to him. Shit, th th throw him off a building, right? Light him on fire. Hit him with the fucking Lincoln, right? Get creative. Do whatever you want. Get creative. <laughs> Dude, kill his fucking wife. What? Oh, come on, man. You, you don't believe that old shit, do you? Yes, Rick, I do. And I work with my wife, and she believes it. Huh? She doesn't want his creepy ass around. They all said it. He's a fucking loser, and I didn't believe him. So I guess I'm the fucking idiot. <laughs> now, you're know talking about? Well, I feel like fucking fighting, because I've been up here by myself for four hours on this fucking shithole of a boat. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I mean, that did not look good. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> now I admire Cassius. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> what I admire is, in his sport, there's an element of true calm. You stand in front of a guy, you just want to let him have it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're a little man with a big mouth and a big chip. And I think you should be embarrassed to suggest you be anything more than a stain on the seat of Cassius Clay's trunks. But my hands are registered as legal weapons. That means... We get into a fight, I accidentally kill you, I go to jail. Anybody accidentally huh? kills anybody in a fight, they go to jail. That legal weapon force shit is just an excuse so you dancers never have to get in a real fight. Oh, shit. How about a friendly contest? That's a great idea, Cato. <laughs> <laughs> Green Hornet. He was on the Green Hornet, wasn't he? Yeah. Ah! Oh, Holy oh. shit! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Brad Pitt fighting. Bruce Lee. His wife killing buddy boy here was beating the shit out of Bruce. What? Hey, Randy. Cliff. What the fuck, man? Nobody beat the shit out of Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> a friendly contest. He barely touched me. I think that then the car says something different. <laughs> oh! Oh <my> no. <laughs> My car. What did you do to her car? So that's what happened with the whole Randy. So that car. was. So he Green gave Hornet. him a chance. Yeah. That's funny. And the gaffer current on the current the project, is best friend is Randy. Yeah. And Randy would say, "No, don't use him." Bold way to use Bruce Lee in your movie, but really funny. I think funny. It's, kind of, it's kind of offensive. Really but, funny. But, yeah. Offensive. Oh bad. Offensive. I know a lot of people were offended by how he was used. To that time he offended. Used. This is scene. <laughs> oh. Uh, you know, you know, man. Bother you? I sat next to you and read my book too. I don't know. Would you bother me? I'll try not to. I need to die of lung cancer or something. Maybe. You stop smoking. <laughs> Her face. When we're on set, I prefer to only be referred to by my character's name. <laughs> it helps me listen to reality She's of the story. And if I can be a tiny bit better, I want to be. Hmm. I like it. He's a genius, you know. I mean, a once in every 50 or 100 years kind of genius. Well, what are you, 12? I'm eight. <laughs> eight. <laughs> what are you reading? More of his days in pain than, than he ever did before. Cheapers, this sounds like a good novel. Cheapers. Cheapers. <laughs> Should have borrowed those sunglasses. Is he relating to it to, it from to himself? himself to you himself, know? yeah. He's in his 20s, he's making all these movies, doing TV shows. And... Yeah, now it's going to mess her character up because she's going to feel bad for the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, Caleb. Sounds like a really sad book. <laughs> Poor Easy. I'm practically crying, and I haven't even read it. About Fifteen years you'll be living it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, pumpkin puss. I'm just, I'm just teasing you. I don't like names like pumpkin puss, but since you're upset, <laughs> we'll talk about that some other time. <laughs> <laughs> this little actress is good. <laughs> She's really good, yeah. <laughs>
Was it true you almost got the McQueen part in the Great Escape? Uh, Phillips, isn't it? Captain oh. Phillips, That's a great movie. 17 escape attempts. Look at this. Eight. Wow. I just threw straight from the yeah. from it. That's crazy. Huh. Man, that's weird. Yeah, it is. I'll truck pilot. Can I get a picture? Oh, sure. You know, why don't you stand over by the poster so people will know who you are? Okay. <sighs> Dirty feet. They are. Now it's a Tarantino movie. <laughs> yeah, because of the feet. <laughs> Don't let me stop you from earning the money. That's got chicken away. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know how bored and restless you get when you run out of tamales. <laughs> <laughs> good, was ah, here's what yeah, the part that he was practicing with. It's Pepe. Come on now. You got him out, Rick. He's kind of hamming that up at the end there. Right. A little bit. Make promise yourself you're gonna stop fucking drinking. You grab him a drink. Last one, last one. He spit it out. You don't get these lines right. Just looking right at the camera. You're gonna blow your fucking brains out tonight. All right? Your brains are gonna be splattered all over your goddamn pool. Oh, Jesus. That was a hell of a scene. <laughs> Feet. Fucking Quentin Tarantino. The man knows what he likes. He does. And he assumes other people likes it too. <laughs> what I'm too old to do is go to jail for boom tang. <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> Puts fifty thousand dollars in my lap. Property in this little picture down a well. He's nailing it. Give me evil, sexy Hamlet. <laughs> yeah, man, he nailed that scene. Evil, sexy Hamlet. I like her. Yeah. <laughs> he killed her there. I'm so happy for him. Evil Hamlet steers people. Evil Hamlet. Binger Bronco Buster? Where the hell did that come from? Improv. <laughs> <laughs> That was the best acting I've ever seen in my life. I'll show that little girl is what he said <laughs> earlier. Yeah. I hope he's not dreaming. Oh my god. Rick, shut the and fuck up. And like a fucking joker. Uh. We love pussy. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah, I mean, I, I know what this shit's about, but I don't know, like, any details about this stuff. You know? I'm, I know what the movie's about. <laughs> <laughs> this movie? You know what I mean? Like... It's just a piece in time, I guess. It's a piece in time with that time period. Yeah. Not specifically about that, but it's in it. Why is that impossible? Because me and George like to watch TV on Sunday night. FBI and Bonanza, but George finds it hard to keep awake that late, so I make him take a nap around now so I don't get jerked out my George TV time. I don't realize that's Dakota Fanning, is it? It is. Yeah. I'm so uncomfortable. George? Is he dead? That flies? Yeah, that's flies. George? Moving. Oh, it's moving. Oh, yeah. It's Cliff Booth. Just stopped in to say hello and see how you're doing. Son, Wilkes. Oh, Cliff Booth. <laughs> <laughs> she loves me. So suck on that. <laughs> All right. Fuck out of there, man. <laughs> they pop his tire. Yeah. How's he supposed to get out of here? Fix it. Fuck <laughs> you. The teeth's gonna All be right. even worse. Well, knock it straight. <laughs> oh! Off his feet! <laughs> oh! These fucking hippies, man, they drag me nuts, dude. Can I rag to wipe my face first? Nope. 
fire first. <laughs> you want my cigarette to Jansen? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna trip. I'm gonna trip here, man. Walk in the woods. Not my home. Go start tripping and kill the neighbors. <laughs> it kills everyone. Put your goddamn fucking Call <laughs> <laughs> cops. Sounds like my dad, man. Shot. My dad was gonna have a one way road in my parents' house. God damn hippies. Be out there his underwear looking. Is she gonna leave? Yeah, she's gonna bucket. bucket. <laughs> yeah, once I heard that <laughs> shit that one girl just said, but yep, I'm leaving. Yeah. You are real, right? <laughs> oh my god. There's a donut, motherfucker. What? Oh my god. I don't know your name, but I remember that hair. And you, I remember your white little face. And you were on a horsey. <laughs> I'm the devil. And I'm here to do the devil's business. Oh, oh Brandy! Damn, go Brandy! <laughs> Good dog. Oh, Cliff. Oh, holy oh, fuck! Hey, you. Yes! Francesca! Oh, damn, Francesca. Bam! Oh! Jesus! Jesus, lady! Ugh. <laughs> Can you imagine? I can't! That's like a horror movie what she's doing here. Get the fuck out of there, man. She's like the T-1000 in Lava. She is. Like, I would imagine her like, just going inside out of herself and shit. Look at that. She's gotta just be hurting so bad. She just... Does he have the like, what the fuck is happening? What is happening? This whole movie to this point, what the hell is happening? Oh my god! <laughs> What's funny is he has no contact. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Holy shit! Holy shit. <laughs> He's just drunk, you know? <laughs> Francesca, honey, <laughs> trained every day, three hours a day for two weeks. I can't believe oh it. Oh my god! Jesus. Oh my god! Man, yeah, I could have taken it if like the light was fully. Jason Voorhees. <sighs> god. So, now, what time was it when you confronted the intruder? What do you say? <laughs> it's like Tucker and Dale shit. What did these perpetrators do? Oh, God. Thank yes, God. Uh -huh. They were hippie assholes. Front door there and said, I'm here to do the devil's business. Devil's <laughs> It's not verbatim, but I'm so glad Brandy's alive. <laughs> this poor guy. He's just not right now. <laughs> Dude, this ending is crazy. I know. Man. Good friend, Cliff. Yeah. Pretty calm for torching a bitch with a flamethrower. What's well, funny is like never going to ask. Yeah, well, just well he wasn't on acid. No, I'm saying like, kind of like oh, he was man. just drunk and he fell in a pool and he just started shooting up like. Yeah, well, to, yeah I went up with that later. It's great. It's great. <laughs> that was a great scene, man. Oh my god. The whole movie sets you up for not that. Oh yeah. <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck happened? <laughs> oh, they, they, these fucking hippie weirdos. They 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 broke into my house. Uh, my buddy and his dog killed two of them, and then, uh, oh shit, I forced the last one. How'd you do that? I got a flamethrower in the tree. You piss in the car? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
be the Sharon Tate murders, right? Yes, yes, Sharon. Everybody's fine. Except those damn hippies. It's so fucking funny. Rick and Cliff are fictional guys, right? Like they, are yeah. made, they're made up, right? Yeah, they changed history here. I, I guess. I had to yeah, I, I've never turned around a movie so hard, so fast. Your wife was almost murdered, though. She's passed yeah, out. she's sleeping. She'll be sleeping until. Yeah, but day. the hippies might have reinforcements. <laughs> they better. They should not be coming back. Once now. upon a time. It's like a fairy tale. Ellipses. That's what the ellipses is in Hollywood. <laughs> All right. I man. cannot. That was a fucking turn. I, I bet don't you know how to feel about that movie. I, I know. I know. Like, <laughs> I like in the very beginning, I was like, all right, I'm feeling it. And like halfway through, I was like, it's not bad. I'm just not <laughs> loving it. Yeah. You know? Like, I mean, I, I, I like, like it, the characters and stuff. It's a man that loves that time and that place and wanted to make that. It's exactly how I felt. Yeah. Like, man, you had to, you probably, if you love old Hollywood, but 60s Hollywood, you probably love this movie. Yeah, yeah. that's what and I thought, though. Like a love letter to the 60s and to that old Hollywood thing. It's and like a snapshot yeah. Yeah, of, and, of that time period. And while I feel that's the case, he does love that stuff, and he did put that stuff in, I think that he almost puts you in like a, oh, there's Charlie Manson, there's the Manson family, we're gonna, this is gonna happen. We gotta wait and see, wait and see. It's dragging out. I'm still wait and see, wait and see. And then it fucking turns 180 yeah. and goes alternate reality and <coughs> hyper violent and the dog and he's fucking burning uh, this, this bitch in a pool and shit, you know? You're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's such a turn that I'm like, oh, maybe that's what he wanted me to feel. It reminds me of the House of the Devil, just this has more cars. Sure. I, I, <laughs> yeah. Now, the, the series took a. So the episode took a turn too when it got into like this almost documentary kind of style of like yeah. 5 p.m. They go to get Mexican yeah. food, you know, because that's like, when the crime started happening. Yeah, well, yeah, it, yeah, it's like it's like cataloging the day, the facts. And telling and you, it makes you feel like happened. okay, here's right. gonna get murdered. You're now yeah. in the facts. Like, oh, this man. is the day that okay, we've been waiting the whole movie. Yeah, like, we haven't had it at all. now we have this. And it fucking just doesn't yeah. happen. It happens like, up there was some life. weird cuts in the middle during like the filming side of it that was like. You know, here's yeah. another take we've we've skipped over. Like, yeah. There was a dialogue between Rick and that Jim Stacy guy, whatever it was. Yeah. And he came over and took off his hat, and then it cut, and his hat's back on. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so we're we're in Hollywood. Sure. They're having a the conversation. We're cutting it, but then it changed the style like later on. And it's just, yeah. It's it's, it's, it's I don't know. Charles don't know, Manson right. had like one scene and one line. Yeah. 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 He, I think he's it, a I, real creepy looking guy. The guy who played. Yeah, him? he was. The, yeah. There's another on that one show I mentioned this the other day. The uh, Mind Hunter, there's a guy who plays Charlie Manson. In that that's he's fucking amazing. Yeah, but anyway, like yeah, like I, I think it like sets you up. You keep waiting to see Charlie Manson. Yeah. You keep okay, all right. Here come the murders. Now we're gonna see what happens next. And that's just all to get you to turn the corner and then bam, yeah. you get hit by a truck. Well, there's that tense moment of building up to George. Yeah, it's like, geez, I don't like this. Oh, where are we going with this? Yeah, oh, they're not gonna let him in. They're, don't turn your back on that woman. You know what you got? Yeah. What's yeah. gonna happen? Yeah, and then all of a sudden, just some blind old guy, and they're like, "What you want?" <laughs> it, it's almost as if he's like, "Look, I want to do this," and they're like, "Well, I mean, you're Quentin Tarantino. People are gonna expect that." It's like, "Oh, fine, I'll do two hours of not me, and then I'll do that." <laughs> that's what he did. <laughs> so I think that's what he did. Yeah, like it focused so much on Shannon Tate or Sharon, <laughs> Sharon Tate, Sharon Tate, Sharon Tate, but like I thought Sharon, Sharon Tate, Sharon well, Tate. It focused so much on Miss Tate. Yeah, and like she did nothing in the movie. Well, again, I think that's the point. Well, yeah. this, this yeah, is about you know this, she's going to get murdered she, because she's right. the pregnant woman that gets murdered because Polanski's not there and and Charlie Manson is pissed <coughs> off at the guy who lived in the house previously. That's why he asked. He's like because he was like a would be music dude, right. and then that guy like kicked him out or did something, so he sent his family over to kill him. Whoever's in that house, just kill him. You know. And they were just so fucking insane, and it was so unnerving, you know? It was really unnerving. Let's kill the piggies, you know? Like I felt so... <sighs> yeah. Well, and, like, you know, he was high, the other guy was drunk. Exactly! And you're just thinking, like, oh, God, maybe if he wasn't. And then he is. Yeah, well, and he's... And he's still... <laughs> <laughs> that moment of just grabbing that, like... Uh, I... That's great. And thank God he does Bruce Lee-level martial arts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Or just that finger snap with the dog. Yeah, he's like we're a Mustang in there. He just does this and people die, dude. Yeah, and then he's, so then he, and then snaps and points at her and he just roar. <laughs> and it makes sense because we had that whole scene about like how well trained this dog is, yeah. you know. Oh, you got the line. Yeah, he, he, he bit, sets it up. Yeah, and honestly, before all that, I kept admiring just the character stuff. Me too. No, me too. It was, like, it was a, yeah. Like I was like, man, I really hope he hope he remembers these lines. And then like the camera yeah. doesn't cut and he just sits there and he breathes. But like, I'm, not, I'm not bored. Yeah, I mean, I'm just watching him relax, and I feel good. Like, for me, like, 75% through the way through the movie, I was like, I like this. I think you could lose 20% of it, and you wouldn't be like, hey, I'm missing stuff, you know? Yeah. Like, I think you could. But now that this has happened to me, <laughs> I feel like, oh, no, that's, I think they had to do that. I think they had to, li- they had to get you in a false <laughs> sense of security. They have to get you into like this lull. Like, yeah. You have to be able to breathe in the scene. Yeah. But it still wasn't bad. And then you get that point like, oh man, here it comes. Yeah. Like, here's the tension. You know, I know Charles Manson, Manson is, you know. And well, well yeah. then all of a sudden it's just like, like we, can, can a dog food to the face? Oh, it broke her nose. Dude, those shots when he's hitting her against the fireplace mantle, <sighs> that is so visceral. Yeah. That I just, oh my God, you know? Well, it's worse than I think it would look like in real life. It's like, yeah. It's it's over the top, but it's not so over the top. No, I get you. You know, it's, it's like he was hitting the weird. middle of her head with the front of her head. You know, like the way that it was going in to yeah. the mantle. <sighs> yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. I kept when I was watching this, I remember thinking like, "There's so much I love about this movie, but like it's slow, and methodical, and like yeah. I don't have to watch it again right away, like I did Django and like you know Kill Bill." But now I want to watch it again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I just like you know. I'm actually kind of curious to see the reaction because I want to see what my face looked like. Yeah, I'm pretty damn like curious. Like 45 <laughs> minutes. When the 45 drops. seconds. No, I want to see you right before that because I think I was like judging it a little bit and being like, it's all right. Right yeah. before the night scene? Yeah. Well, I know, it I know I'm sitting there. I'm like, fuck, he's going to shoot him. He has his gun on him. He's on a high on acid. He's high on acid. All this shit. He's dead. Yeah, it's a love letter to the sick, to that time period, and that, this is historical. And yeah. this, But then he just said, fuck it. You know? <laughs> I'm going to catch a bitch on fire. Yeah, I just, can't believe he did that. I can't believe he had a flamethrower in out. his shed. It was fucking insane. <laughs> like I, I bet you people are like, you know, gonna be watching this reaction, be like, oh my god, look, they don't even know. They don't know what's about to happen. I just and heard, then it happened. And, yeah. Jesus. Well, I, I heard the ending was crazy, but I just saw it because it was gonna show the murders and it's gonna be really? very visceral. But they changed history. <sighs> when when we were going through the the movie and stuff, like. I was like, I don't know that this was a good reaction movie. You know, Holy I, think, shit. I think there's bound to have been. I other, thought the same thing. I think there's bound too. to have been better movies that we could have reacted. There's to gonna be movies like well, that. You're I like, well, it's this. a great movie. It's just that you know, yeah. it's like more like, oh wow, how good. Let's well, I thought, how good. I thought how artistic it looks and the how, the, 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 the time, reaction is right? gonna be like. Yeah, I thought the discussion. Seven minutes and then the last fifteen minutes. You know, <laughs> like yeah, I thought the discussion was gonna be the bread and butter. Yeah. You know, talking oh, about, I mean, I was taking notes of like, oh man, they went to Playboy Mansion. That was kind of neat. Uh, and Cliff killed his wife. What does that oh, mean? Man. But now like, you can actually... Got away with it. But now yeah. that like we reacted, it was great. You can appreciate all the little stuff now. <laughs> you can. Like, like Cliff killed his wife. <laughs> Cliff just killed two people here, you know? And now he's a hero. Well, he did, by, yes. he did it by accident, right? He killed him by accident? Or his, his wife? wife? Yeah. His, he I mean, was fucked up. That's the thing. We don't, I mean, no, he was Rick there. Can't, Rick can't fire him now. He was there. No. He was drinking. She was, you know, complaining about everything. He had a, a what was that thing? A spear gun? What what he had? Yeah, it's yeah. A, like yeah. a flare gun. I don't know something. what it was. A spear gun, I thought. But then it, it was just gun? like it was pointing right, like right over here. She <laughs> walked right here. It's just still there. His finger was like, his, on the trigger. His, he was like, his look. His <laughs> well, he's wearing that like mask yeah. thing. It's right here. It's ridiculous. It's yeah. a little bit bigger, you know. And you yeah. never had him talk about it. It was other people who brought up about yeah. it, you know this yeah. wife killer. He killed his wife. This asshole. All that. But yeah. you never. Heard it from him, so I'm curious on like the story of that he had. Yeah. If he was like, "Yeah, I killed her, got away with it," yeah. you know, or if it's more of like, yeah, I, "I didn't mean to; it was yeah. an accident, and luckily I didn't go to jail for it." But you know, like, does he does it's it just, haunt him at all? Or it's is my he... favorite line in the movie. Uh, I'm not going to jail for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're too old to go to jail for Poon Death. <laughs> that stuff was so funny. I, I love that he's like... And, and that whole scene was really it's good. It's like, yeah. we love pussy. I yeah. like that. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. How old are you? The, I, I mean, that, that scene was just. Well, he, he, I love how he thought about it. He's like, how are you? You know what I mean? I, I mean, I've, I've really enjoyed the just watching the scene in the movie of a movie mm-hmm. and then him breaking down in the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it was, no. it was really good. It just was not what made the movie for me. 
<laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, I was like, hey, this is but good. For me, I'll that, talk about how good that fuck that was. Yeah, it, that made the scene where he nails the scene better. True, yeah. Yeah, but also, like, that's not what the movie's about. And, yeah, and yeah. it's so long you know? in the movie. You yeah. Know? yeah. It's like an eight-minute scene, and then he messes up, and then we continue, and we finish, and he's, fuck, and then he nails it, and we're like, all right, what? Well, because, like, that could What's be a really next? interesting movie of, like, a washed-up guy who's yeah. trying to get back into it or whatever, but that yeah. is not what the movie's about. No, yeah. but it's a part of it. <laughs> but it is. It, it pretends to be That's... for a while. But then at the end, it's like, okay, he's getting in good with, with he his is. neighbors. And then Rick and him don't have to... Rick and... Uh, uh, Cliff? Cliff don't have to split up now, because I, I assume he's going to get in with them, he's going to get find work, and... Yeah, he's going to make... Cliff can keep working at the stunt He with up. the wife, and then Polanski comes back from London or wherever he was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that's the thing. It's, it was Polanski's... Uh, Roman Polanski's house, but he was in London during the time of the murders. Mm. Yeah. As long as they changed his history, then... I don't know. They might have. I don't know. No. I, mean, I love the little eight-year-old... Well, I don't, she definitely wasn't eight, but the method actor girl. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 She, was, like she was great in the scene. Hell yeah, she was See, good. that's one thing, too. I don't know the time period well enough to know, like... Who are real people from the time necessarily? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. like that. Yeah. Like I, I wasn't super impressed with like, what was his name? Jim Stacy. Like I'm like that's their lead. I guess he could be okay. I wonder. I, I'd have to see it in the Timothy show. Timothy Oliphant. You know? Yeah, is that that's the actor? Sure. Yeah, he lived for your Die Hard. He was the main antagonist. He also I've seen him in a bunch of stuff. He's great. Yeah, but I like him. I mean, if I were to judge it here, he's just like he's that mirror that Rick's putting himself. One, yeah, you know? yeah. As far as the little girl goes, I didn't understand why she was laughing in that scene, though. Well, I thought it was just it was actually supposed to be funny when you're watching it. I guess like this maniacal bad guy tells this joke, like, "Don't you agree?" And he's actually funny, and she laughs, and he's like, "Shut the fuck up," kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, I think it could also be her trying to like lighten and you know, not understanding what's happening. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to just be like, "Oh yeah, this is a funny yeah. joke, isn't it funny?" God, like, isn't she so precious? She doesn't understand <clears throat> what how tense this scene is and. Hmm. And she's laughing until she gets thrown, you know. The the only one that did get me that I knew from the time was the uh, Great Escape. The Great Escape thing, yes. And, and like showing, putting him in the footage from the movie. Yeah, that was some Forrest Gump shit. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen it actually. I just yeah. know it's Mr. Really highly revered. Mm-hmm. It's great. I don't know if they. I, I honestly I couldn't tell if they did that for the uh, Sharon Tate movie. That you know, with the actress, I couldn't tell. It looked like it looked it, like her. I, I don't. Know, I didn't think it was Margot Robbie. Yeah, I that's what I'm saying. I, I didn't think it looked like well, Margot. Either. Every time I looked at her, I'm like, it could be Margot Robbie. But I, well, when I was, I part of me was watching. I'm like, I don't think it's Margot Robbie. I think maybe this girl thinks she's Sharon Tate. And that's what I thought too. And but she's just crazy, like in Orange Is the New Black, <laughs> like the fucking the chick with a guy. I've yeah, never watched it. Huh. But what it could have been is they could have used the actual footage from a movie that Sharon Tate was in. Yeah, and, and they be, just had her there, and that's why they had her be like. You know, doing that. And also because of what might happen, or maybe they didn't want to remove her footage. I don't know. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't know. But yeah. I'm um, ignorant to that stuff. How story. do you guys feel about the Bruce Lee stuff? I love the scene. weird. Like, I-, I love the scene too, but yeah, I think. I felt like they made him out to be a joke. Yeah, I, don't I think mean, Bruce yes, is a joke. I don't, I'm not going to say he's a joke, but there's a certain amount of like mythicism to him. You know? Sure. Like, he's like, well, he's a legend. He's Bruce Lee, you know? And not any ever like Bruce Lee probably can't live up to what people feel Bruce Lee is like, you know. He's also not around. Is that's the thing true? Too. Yeah, yeah. And he died a couple years after this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, how how would he feel about this? I yeah, mean, he's some handsome white guy who just beat his ass, <laughs> and he's one of the well, not, not the best, one of the greatest martial artists, including like for what he did with martial arts, like well, in terms of thinking outside the, the box. Best. The, one way, of the, most the way they do it, the way they do it here too, I don't feel like is like. Oh look! Now Cliff is just beating his ass. Mm-hmm. The, they had the kick thing that happened that caught him off guard. Yeah. Then he did it again. He threw him in the car, and now they're one one out of a best of three. Yeah. And then they're going, blocking yeah. and uh, fighting. You know. Yeah. But he's standing toe to toe with him. Well, so did so, Chuck Norris. Yeah. Yeah. You Chuck Norris is like, the greatest. Chuck yeah. Norris is an amazing. Well, yeah, but that's, yeah, but that's the idea of who this guy is. Yeah. You know, th- I, if this is a fictional guy, mm-hmm. this is the, the idea is that this guy is a Chuck Norrisy mm-hmm. stunt man dude, mm-hmm. and you're getting that feeling from him from. The, the hand-to-hand with Bruce Lee, with I don't need a ladder to get on top of the roof, with uh, I'm going to drive crazily, like I, this is the stuff I do. Yeah. And I think that that complements to the end of it, of yeah. like, this guy's high on acid, he's going to die now, and he's like, fuck that, I'm catching this knife, you know? I mean, it, it goes to the line of like, you know, my hands are you know, lethal weapons, you know, I would go to jail, if some, you know, it's like, well, everyone would go to jail, it's called manslaughter, you know? Yeah. Like, it's like the kind of hype up of, of pr- promoting yourself and... 
mm-hmm. your business, your your role, that kind of thing, sure. you know, because... Playing into the game. Because yeah. it's Hollywood, you know? I'm not going to say, like, well, Bruce Lee's unbeatable, so the movie's wrong, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, and they also don't have him... I don't feel like they have him being beaten. No, they you know? don't. That, that's why they have it come in and be interrupted, yeah. and you're not seeing, like, how the fight sure. ends mm-hmm. or anything. Yeah. So. I would just, when it, when it came to the Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali thing, I mean, Muhammad Ali, man, he's one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. Yeah. You know, I don't know. It'd be an interesting fight. One in their prime, one in their prime. I mean, Muhammad Ali was in the Matrix sometimes when you watch him fight. <laughs> like, you can't touch him, you know? Yeah. And granted, he, on the other side of that, he is way more than Bruce Lee, in my opinion, the promoter. The the, the, the okay. showman, you know? Yeah. But he fucking knocked motherfuckers out for years, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. like, I think that would be a fun debate to have, you know? I wasn't, like, trying to, like, uh, degrade Bruce Lee or something yeah. like that, you know? But I, I don't know. I, I really enjoyed the scene. I, I thought it's just like the movie. It's exactly what I didn't think they would do with the character. Yeah, I, I surprised me. I, and I, I actually liked it, too, to yeah. be honest with you. And Bruce, the guy who played Bruce Lee for the most part, I thought was pretty convincing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. for just being... When he took the sunglasses off, I went, that's on his face. Well, no, but, yeah, yeah. Yes. but when he, when he had him on, it looked just like him. I thought, yeah. But you can only go so far. I just love to say, like him. <laughs> you know, sounded like him, too, and look, his body yeah. looked like his body. So, yeah. Um, when he took off his uh, coat and had just the gloves on, it reminded me of this, uh, I can't think what it is, a Jackie Chan movie, where it's Jackie Chan versus... Uh, the Jet. Now you're talking about you know him out? black and white. They're wearing black yeah. and white. Yeah. It reminded me of that movie Kicks. there. Oh fuck! And like, it, it's supposed to be that kind of idea yeah. of like look, this really good fighter versus this really good yeah. fighter guy, and we're gonna see them fight against each other. And yeah. It, it kind of reminds me of like what they were going for here, and then like you know Jackie Chan versus Jet Li kind of stuff, or mm-hmm. you know all that. Is what it reminds yeah. me. So I don't find it bothersome necessarily. I, I find it. Like, yeah. I, I feel like it's a mix of like a mix, a mix of it has to be satire. In some way, right, or, or something along those lines of like, the, this is a fictional version of this all too. So regardless of what you exactly. think of this Bruce Lee, yeah, it's still not necessarily this Bruce Lee because yeah. that's not the real Sharon uh, Tate. That's mm-hmm. not the real, you know, whatever. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know enough about the history to know like what is and what isn't of any of it. Like, like was in there a guy the on an old? Like, were they all living on an old movie ranch? Like, was there a guy there that was blind? Like, what's real in yeah, history, and then that. what is added in yeah. to... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I've don't. i never been like, you know what I'm going to look up today? Charles Manson family. What, what do we know about them? I mean, the only thing growing up I knew about Manson was, like, he had an X in his forehead. Yep. And supposedly he stopped time in a, clock, in, a, in a courtroom. Like, he looked at the clock and he made the clock stop. What? It was like the urban legend. Hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. With that X on his head? I don't know. Anyway, no, I, I, I mean, I, we could go through it, but I... Gave a blanket to do that. He could. <laughs> he would. He would like, do I that. knew he killed Sharon Tate. I mean... Yeah. But. They kept going back to it. I'm like, I don't know what they're doing with this, except for just to make us feel bad for her I, and what happens yeah. later, I guess. Or, you know, I wasn't yeah. sure, like, where's this going? Because they hadn't crossed She's over She's like this free spirit, you know, I, innocent woman. In my opinion, what we just watched was like a magic trick. It was misdirection <laughs> and then fucking the prestige. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's what happened. Yeah. Well, it was it, the it, same thing with the, the ranch. It was, I felt like a, yeah. a misdirect of like, oh, no, what's going to happen here? Yeah. It's just like, well, just George. George, he's blind. He's yeah. back there. He's going to watch TV later, but he can't see it anyway. Yeah. Something that was a little weird. Like, when they showed him with the flamethrower, they showed, like, a movie as if it were that movie shot in that time. Mm-hmm. But, like, in the bar scene... At, uh, with the western that he was shooting, like they were shooting that, not as if that was going to be how they shot it on television. Just well, like I, I, mean, I think the difference of it is that, like that was cutting back and showing us like on, things on the them, screen. Yeah, whereas that was like a live instance. We of were in the scene. Yeah. It's, it's, like like we it's like we were. It's like like we weren't watching camera footage. It's like we were the camera <clears throat> for the and the, and the director is behind it. I don't know. Yeah. It, it did, but I agree. Like. It didn't feel like there was a crew behind me. Yeah. You know? Because, like, all of those shots felt like it was happening one-to-one versus, like, all right, cut, set, do the lights, turn this thing, you know? It was like a play, and you were the camera, almost like watching, like, a video game scene or something, you know? Mm -hmm. So I get you. It was strange, but... It did feel more like a play. Like a play, Yeah. yeah. But I think it was just meant to be, like... Like, it's tricking... Again, it's like a magic trick. You're, like, up to the point where he's like, ah, fuck, I forgot my line. You're like... This is an interesting movie. I'm like, wow, why did he? Why is he doing this to these people? You know, I bet you that guy's probably. You know, you start like watching another movie. Yeah, 
So it's, it's kind of like this lulling you, maybe training you, and hoping that you're thinking about that and not the fucking, you're going to see some shit here in 45 minutes. <laughs> you know? we got to make you forget about that flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they bring it in and what we did and all the work, and then we yeah. spend a lot of time on tons of other stuff. A lot of driving in this movie. Oh, yeah. A lot, a lot of, of driving. A lot of music. A lot like, of music. There's a lot of, like, 60s mm-hmm. music being played through a lot. No Bob Dylan. I took a lot of notes, but I truly don't care about any of them anymore. Yeah. How do you feel, sure. how do you feel, about, their, how do you feel about their bromance in the Tarantino movies? Uh, I, I thought it was good. I mean, I, I think it's right up there. I mean, I still love Jules and Vincent from Pulp Fiction. I, I, do I love Reservoir Dogs. I love Kill Bill. I mean, this is not my favorite. As of right now, it's not my favorite Tarantino yeah. movie, but it might be my favorite Tarantino moments. Yeah, like I, I think their bromance might be better than the Django and the Dentist. Yeah, I know. It's pretty damn good. I've only seen Pulp Fiction and the first Kill Bill. Yeah. And then I saw From Dust Till Dawn, which he wrote. He wrote, he, there's, yeah. But, and he was in. That was Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that directed it. But yeah, the um, there was a lot of places that didn't feel like it, especially in the beginning. Oh yeah, I definitely agree. Especially with the dialogue, yeah, as well. Like he has, at least in the ones I've seen, a very you, you specific need... type of dialogue. Yeah. That it just, I don't know. Yeah. This felt more real, like we were watching people, and less snappy and witty. Less. Yeah. yeah. Less which tar- normally is a good, which normally is a good thing, but you yeah. kind of want Tarantino when you watch his movies. Yeah. yeah, it felt good though, like as far as. Like I'm watch- like I'm really watching this Rick Dalton guy who's like pissed off that he messed up his lines and he's practicing trying to get good and mm-hmm. he's, I'm gonna give up drinking you know all that stuff and he drinks and think the next day he's like oh, we did it good yeah. Let's watch like, yeah. <laughs> we got to the point that's like you know six months later I'm like I'm just kind of thinking like what is this movie like what is it like I like yeah. it but what is it sure. yeah the, I, I said that in the middle I'm yeah. like I'm not sure what this movie's about yeah you know I'm not sure what we're doing with this oh fuck like, like people are gonna love when you said that like I'm not sure like is it a you know I, I was sitting there like is this supposed to be like a documentary in a yeah. way is this supposed to be I, it's like satire, action, you know, like what? what's the point of this movie? A yeah. movie has never done to me what this movie did to me today. I can't think of one. I, it's never been done to me. And I, I, I applaud it because of that. Like, I, I, I'll never, and that's never going to happen to me again. Yeah, <laughs> and you can't watch it again and do the you same can't, thing. You can't watch it, it can't again. Happen. It only happens one time. That's yeah. why the reaction's so important now. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's fucking... Fucking great! Okay, I get it. Tenth movie. That's what you did. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's felt some good. parallels to Ed Wood as well. I don't know if you guys have seen that, mm-hmm. but not only is it a movie about making movies, but it's a similar sort of thing where, as people watching movies that they're in, uh, mm-hmm. okay, and yeah. like someone who's just, I mean, Ed Wood's case, he didn't have it and then lost it and was trying to get it back. He just never had it. Gotcha. Yeah. A, a similar sort of arc with him yeah. as well. I, I love the. Uh... Uh, Kurt Russell's little minor role and narrator, yeah, yeah, and yeah. he narrated there at the end. Yeah. Dude, I swear, yeah. like when I was looking at Leo playing Rick for half the time, I kept on hearing slash seeing like young Kurt Russell. That's why I kept. I was like, I, I could see, and then when he had the eye patch in the the German one, I'm like, I see more of a Kurt Russell here now. <laughs> thinking of Snake Plissken, you know, like yeah. it, was just, it just kept on hitting me with that. I was like, and then he showed up. I'm like, what the fuck is? <laughs> And Al Pacino playing that uh, movie producer guy. Yeah, I mean that wasn't a so huge he gets, role, but yeah, he, he, well, he gets like prominent people to play even little parts. Yeah. So, uh, so the uh, the one girl was Dakota Fanning, the squeaky or whatever that was yeah, in the house. Was, that, was she the one there at the end too that he killed? He said like I remember your hair or yeah. something, didn't he? But I it think. didn't look like her. I wasn't I didn't sure. think it looked like her either. I thought it looked like her in the car. Yeah. But I, I didn't think it looked like her later on. And that one girl, good thing she ran. That was the girl that ran. Is that a real thing? Like I don't know anything about. Like, I, I don't know movies. anything about. I, don't I just wonder if that was. And people are like, "Oh, fuck, it's happening." Yeah, they got that. They got that detail right. Oh, goddamn. And then you know. It, yeah, I can ah! imagine. It's in a pool. Just go under the Swim water, down! woman. I, love... I think she just was nonsensical. Oh, sure. Well, yeah. yeah, that dog ripped her mind out of her body. <laughs> yeah, she, dude, she was so hurt. She was running like she the was... like the like fucking she, grudge. She had been bashed in the face with a can, so like her nose was broken oh. or whatever, right? And then this dog was just tearing her apart and pulling her all over the place. She went to... I think that she was just in so much pain, she just didn't know what to do. Oh. That's why when she grabbed the gun out of desperation and shot it, she just. Yeah. It's flailing about because she hurts everywhere. Oh, and then she, she went through the glass window. She had shards of glass in her face. Yeah. yeah, man. I gotta say, I think that the unsung hero of the movie is like the sound and sound design. Like even like with you know just like the cigarettes. The and cigarettes, stuff. I noticed that a like lot. That, you know, but like in those scenes, like it, 
it just pushed it further and further and further. And even like the stuff in the desert and the George and all that stuff, like there's like certain like sounds you don't think about until you're like, oh fuck, that was really effective. You when know? you got in yeah. the bed, you heard yeah. the creak. And, Man, that yeah. desert thing kept on getting me too. Yeah. Like, like that, that, the thing with George, and yeah. then like he gets there and there's a guy in the bed. I'm like, oh okay. And he's, well, he's gonna be rolled yeah. over. He's gonna have a gun in there. Because you're like, is that flies? I think I heard flies. I thought his eyes yeah. were fucking. You know? I thought yeah. his eyes. It's all in the fucking, sound, yeah. man. Yeah. And then and then like they leave that, and then you get back, and oh man, his tires. Yeah. Down, you know. Yeah. And then there's the guy, and he punches him. He's got him fixing his tire, and they go to get Tex. Yeah. Oh man, Tex is on his way back. Oh, it's too late. He's gone. You know, like <laughs> each time I'm like, fuck, what's gonna happen now? What's gonna happen now? And nothing happened. You know, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, a. How'd he beat the shit out of that hippie kid too? <laughs> Clem. Fuck. Yeah. Clem. Yeah. I don't know. You guys got anything else? Um, I mean, that was a hell of a, hell of a movie. Yeah, hell of a movie. it was. Hell, I just found Leonardo DiCaprio. All he knows is this girl. <laughs> his window. He's like, oh, fuck. He just runs in his garage. What do I do? What do I do? That's his first instinct. <laughs> yeah. And he just comes out and burns the fuck out of her. And then he has to go find out what happened. It's yeah. Yeah. yeah, he yeah. did. This girl who's just, just faces destroyed and everything. Comes out with a gun. I know. Brad Pitt and Leonardo were both nominated for like best supporting and and main gotcha. cast. Yeah, I think they both did. Like, they did I, a good I, job. I really liked what Leonardo DiCaprio did with like especially the acting side of it. Mm-hmm. Like him like relating himself to the character in the yeah. book, and then yeah. him messing up his lines, and then his you know his fit in the trailer, yeah. and then it's got to be so weird being an actor playing a character that is an actor. And like acting those and scenes and, that and character making it, of yourself and making it you believable know? and not obvious. That's real doing, different. You know? Yeah. And then, like, that, that scene through the gate with that guy was so funny. Yeah, I love because that. Because the tension was built, and then it exploded everywhere, and then you couldn't do anything but laugh, you know? Because you're like, what do I do? Like, all right, roasted her. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah roasted her. I mean, everybody all right? He's like, what? Oh, hippies aren't. Hippies aren't. <laughs> hippies aren't. Hippies aren't was a great line. I love that. Fucking hippies yeah. aren't, you know? Like, it was, like, such a tension, like, reward, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, and I think Cliff would be a cool fucking dude to hang out with. Yeah. Dude, man, he's a he great bud. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that guy's a friend. He's just know? driving around. Like him, Skinny Pete, him. and Badger would be like, oh, you don't need anyone yeah. else in your life, you know? <laughs> yeah. And Bobby Singer. Yeah. All right, as, I mean, that's all I got. Like I said, I, I, I think that this movie is like when Penn Jillette and Penn and Teller, it's like when they show you a magic trick and then they tell you how they did that. Yeah. And even the time when they're showing what they're doing is still amazing. That's what this movie feels like to me right now. Sure. So, I get that. Um, like, blast off. Yeah. Blast it's off. A hell of a reaction. Yeah, holy shit. All right. Yeah. yeah. Good job, everybody. Patreon. <sighs> See you for the next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to vote on movies uh, for commentating and for uh, reacting, make sure you guys go to patreon.com slash blindwave. Because you can vote there. There's polls every week on the next movie. You can see it early and full length there as well. So check it out. Hey, is everybody okay? Well, the fucking hippies aren't.